available for a projector room because uh, square is not recommended so the roofing is actually you can see that it's an acoustic roofing so there's a glass hole on the top which absorbs all the reflections from the sound waves generates and we have arranged this lights in the three section three at front three at middle and three at bottom so this this is arranged in uh, different uh, modules so that you can turn it on and off based on your requirement so i have a remote wi-fi switch it's actually control this unit this is now uh, four channel switch also i have the mechanical switch you can control manually so the master power button is actually prepared in the back most of the wiring is done on the top, uh, top. so it's, it's traveling through these upper six panels and it's coming down the back of the power top where all the commands is faced. So the screen is actually uh, just screwed on the wall. This is actually the uh, carpet is used, and these are 8 mm profiling with uh, 5 mm carpet. So, you would probably end up with a 12 mm thick uh, ground, so it will give you much cushioning effect when you walk. Also, it's better to have uh, an acoustics perspective, you would have a much uh, cloth based floor, or even wood would give you much better acoustics effect. And we have arranged to four recliners and uh, this shell is, is totally mechanical recliner so it's an economical option if you want to go for a basic recliner so the i mean the material used in recline is actually the cloth uh, the reason is actually it's cloth is a good sound absorbent so it will give you a natural sound absorption so it will have better sound quality go for a uh, cloth based furniture so it is naturally sound as well we have six actually located on the roof so you have to plan for this even before constructing the acoustics panels so the project system should uh, fix and located based on your screen positions so these things have to be done well before you start the construction I think it's so important so you have to plan it well here ahead uh, so it will give you a much better viewing experience uh, depends upon your requirement so because the once the acoustic panels is done actually you cannot uh, change it so probably is the best idea to have it well before yeah also has been painted in the matte paint so that it should not produce any reflection so ideally you should go for a better quality matte paint so it will give you a much better darker room also the colors are used actually the much darker so it's better so it should not give you any reflections when you uh, play the movie so it's better to have most of the things actually dark in color so the acoustic panels actually uh, you can't make it completely black because since there is a hall actually those are not uh, friendly for the paint because they should be kept open so the, so the bottom side actually it will give you a much better feeling rather than just white uh, cupboard which will help you to keep all your stuff organized and they have to make sure that these equipments are very heavy so you have to plan for much uh, heavier cupboard component compartment so I recommend you to keep in a floor mount so that it will keep uh, strong even though you hold heavy equipment in wall mount may fall if you, the equipment is too heavy is your plant when you construct a you know, home theater you should first think about having an uninterrupted power supply so these equipment is not actually friendly with uh, zigzag and the power uh, signal so you should have always provide good quality power so it better have a much better inverter or and UPS systems to support an input power supply because the projector always need continuous power because it manages its uh, cooling system internally so you can't have actually uh, interrupted power supply uh, in between so it will actually shorten the life of 
the bulb inside the projector. So technically, when you construct a uh, projector room, you probably don't want to get up when you put the what you want to light. So I recommend you go for a Wi-Fi switch, which you can control from your mobile, or uh, even the equipment can be turned on and off. So uh, better to uh, pre-install and do the wiring based on that, so that you can control your lights when the movie is playing and you don't want to go anywhere. This is a Dolby 5.2.1 Atmos uh, home theater system. So in the front, I have an X8390 tower speakers. So it will give you a much better quality of sound, which actually which will make much difference in movie experience. So this NS8930 series actually produce much better quality sound especially on the low beat it is much better so you'd have it something uh, bigger in the, as a tower speaker in the front is much better front speaker is nsc the triple four which produce uh, much much detailed sound quality especially in the case of dialogues and all the booby sounds actually producing uh, is from this speaker is actually pretty good so you should always consider the best quality speaker the front who's coming on the center because the most of the movie sounds dialogues everything comes from this so it is going to be much 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 better movie experience if you have better front speaker good uh, theater sound experience you should have a much uh, lower beat producer so they have an uh, Yamaha SW315 subwoofer system is actually produced much uh, decent uh, lower beat compared with uh, NS8930 it's actually the much uh, compatible to each other so it should not uh, create any uh, collapse of signal so it's much better the rear uh, is a diamond black uh, DF, 10 DFS uh, warface speaker it's actually you can see that the shape is actually concise so it's, it gives you much directional sound so i have two of them in the back all be atmos so you should have two speakers at uh, the roof so it will give you a dolby's atmos effect so here it is actually warfare c250 it's producing much clearer sound from the top especially the feel uh, sounds like the raining or the splattering so those so sound are so clear so these wafers because they're doing an excellent job in producing those sounds so the front avr actually is a yamaha v583 so it is a wi-fi enabled device and produce a 5.2.1 atmos mixing and it's comes with all out of new features you can connect bluetooth HDMI, dts all those things comes uh, handy so even you can control this device from your mobile app so that is my school feature so it gives a, a much decent mixing uh, for all those documents actually well tuned so it, it, it will actually the product tree is hd uh, Optimi HD27 is 1080p projector and it's a wall mount. Uh, so we can uh, it produces much decent color and it's a DLP project with uh, much economical options. So it, it produces a decent picture with a much better uh, brightness and color. So you can see that it's actually Wi-Fi enabled and you can even control multiple devices also uh, from remote.